Uh, I actually think that the recent events that we all witnessed, um, both locally and around the country, merit such legislation. And on that particular bill, I'd be more than happy to sign on as a co-sponsor. I agree. Any policy that will allow for us to have protection for our citizens, as well as the police, I agree. And I'm looking forward to co-sponsoring that bill as well. All right. I like it. I like the, uh, the process. I, I, I look forward to sponsoring such a bill because I myself have been a police officer for over 20 years and I'm extremely proud to say that I've made over 6,000 arrests and I've never gotten one complaint. Not one complaint in all those arrests and that's because I treat people with respect. I'm there to arrest them and not to judge them and I'm there to help the community and be the best police officer that I can like the majority of my co-workers. But there are a few, a few bad apples like in every other job so we welcome the special prosecutor to, to do whatever is necessary to make it as equal and as fair as possible. Thank you. Due to circumstances that have become you know, happening around, the, around New York and across the country, it's definitely needed, but there is also more. Uh, as Ray and I have been campaigning, community policing needs to be done. Uh, it, it's a, definitely a necessity, and that would help also. There's other things also. The cameras, I believe, they're good also. So I completely agree with that message. Thank you very much. I myself also would be 100% behind that bill. Um, however, when you talk about police, I think it's very important to understand that police should reflect the community. So when you look at your, your police officer, they should look like the person sitting next to you. Okay? They should be your neighbors. They should be, they should know you by name. They should be walking the beat. And only until we have that, until we have a, a police department that, is rep that represents the community and is serving, can we really get past all of these issues. Thank you. I support that legislation as well. I think actually it doesn't go far enough because it's not just a police issue that we have. We have a, a terrible issue with our criminal justice system in America. This is the last great large-scale human rights tragedy of our time, the way we treat our non uh, young men. We need to stop criminalizing addiction and stop criminalizing lack of opportunity. Um, and we need to have collar cameras on all police officers. We also need to stop demonizing police officers because men like Ray are actually doing a very hard job. And it's like being a veteran. It's, you're out there and you're in the line of fire every day. I support that bill on the percent I'll go a little further. I think that um, it does, it's needed. But we also need to have legislation along with that that, make, that makes it mandatory that police have some type of training of the community, the culture of diversity in the community, of the culture that is policing in the community. That's very important. It has to, that has to go along with something like that. Because just appointing a special prosecutor does not allow the police officer to really learn the community or police the community. And so I'm running back Washington. It's going to be a very long time before we have enough police officers, according to this administration, that can do community policing street to street. So we have to, we're definitely going to have to attack one if that's, if that's the case, that we have some kind of cultural training for our police officers, because we must do, we must use what we have right now, because we don't have the money, according to this administration, to police the city at its current time. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, Mr. We need to find jobs for these people who need to come out of the job. And, and, and unfortunately, it is what it is about. Well, 60% is, 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 is hard to believe, but when they do come out of jail, we do need to find jobs for them. And, and that seems to be a key. We do need to find a lot more jobs, not just for them, but for everybody. Uh, because we have people who have not even committed a crime that don't even have a job. So one of the things that Ray and I are really proposed for is to take care of the people who come out of jail from prison to get them a job. They should go back to the workforce. But we need to create jobs for everybody. And that's one of our main goals. Good middle class jobs. Uh, and then again, I agree we need to get back to the workforce. Key issue in the 31st legislative district. I think the Senator Cunningham's uh, legislation dropped the box and it's part of it, getting, pe getting uh, people through that first 
application process so they can get the interview. I think you talked about job training, um, and interview training, I think that's a key part of it. I just think we're talking about affordable housing, okay? Because I think housing and affordability is one of the issues that sort of leads into this repeat effect. And I think we need to have a real conversation about the disparity of opportunity that exists right here in the 31st. In Bayonne, New Jersey City, in Hudson County. You know, not putting the state of New Jersey aside. I think everyone up here who's been walking and knocking on doors see that disparity of opportunity as you go door to door. I think the, the last thing we need to do, and I, I know they're trying to work on legislation, is we need to get rid of the mandatory minimums on non-violent offenses. Legislation is all about writing bills to bring money back to our city, Bayonne and Jersey City, right? So when I get down there, I'm going to fight so we can have bills so we can bring money to Jersey City and Bayonne. Now, I've been speaking to many, many people in the community, especially people who, are, who have been in jail. And some of them want to start a business. I am an alumni of Rising Tide Capital. And they have an educational program that trains people to start and grow their business. Also, you have Governor McGreevy's program that's here to train people. We need to provide quality education so that our community members can not only be educated, but then also to create, to help create jobs. Uh, everyone's talking about you know the second chance programs and, and what do we do to, to help uh, people when, when they come out of jail. Well, let's, why don't we try to prevent them from going to jail in the first place? Why don't we, why don't we empower and employ our youth? Why don't we hire from within? Why don't we start programs where where the high schools in Jersey City could be the breeding grounds for police officers, firefighters, and teachers. Why don't we start from there? If we start empowering and employing our youth, we won't have this issue with crime, because we all know that the way to stop crime is to employ our youth. You employ them, you give them jobs, you give them things to do, and they're not going to be able to do crime. Let's take care of our kids. Basically, the problem is, is when you see these young men come home, right? That's the problem. We're helping them once they come home. We need legislation passed that we're helping them while they're incarcerated, so when they come out, they're ready to get a job. That's, that's, that's a huge problem. The other issue is this. Like Ray said, prevention, but right, we gotta get down to a city council meeting because the mayor's already doing that, training, Getting them when they're very young um, with, um, with their recruitment, trying to get these, um, these young people already engaged in the police and fire department. So you gotta get down to the city council meetings, really to see what's going on, some of the things that are being done, right? Mayor is, is starting a program, but is that program really working? Is it, is it working to benefit our kids during the city? Is it working to benefit the kids in the uh, in the south side of Jersey City, are our kids getting the jobs or are outsiders getting the jobs? <laughs> so, so if you, if you start a program that's going to that's gonna benefit our kids, then start it at the public schools. Go right to the public schools. We're hiring too many outsiders. My police director, who happens to be very good, comes from New York. Our deputy mayor comes from New York. Our, our mayor for the day came from New York. Come on, now let's do it this way. Thank you.